Hey friend, and welcome to an episode of what I like to call the Website Conversion Lab. In these episodes, we are going to have off-the-cuff, unscripted videos where I show you behind the scenes of my custom design projects for my clients and point out some key tips that you can learn to help you increase conversions right on your website and web pages. Today we are covering the sales page for my very good friend Kat Schmoyer and her brand Creative at Heart Conference. Creative at Heart Conference puts on an annual conference, an in-person event that hosts about 120 people including educators and attendees alike. But another product that they have, which I happen to love, is their membership called Creative 24-7. And I had the pleasure of designing the sales page for the new launch of Creative 24-7. Creative 24-7 is like the conference at home at your fingertips 24-7. Kat has compiled a dynamite lineup of educators who contribute to the membership community with their wealth of knowledge on all different types of topics from marketing to business or back in business and how to keep your business legal and things like SEO, uh, Gmail hacks. I mean, there are tons of educational topics within 24-7. I know coming up, they're going to be talking about uh, topics like Pathway to Money, where Andrea Lane is going to help you figure out how you can um, align your services and offerings to make sure that you are getting the most profit from your business. And also goal planning and, um, you know, evaluating your business. There's just so much to learn within Creative 24-7. So today I want to walk you through one of the most important things when it comes to your sales page. And that right here is above the fold. Now, if you've ever heard me talking about above the fold, you probably know what this is, but just for a refresher, when I say above the fold, it means the part of your website that when you enter, you know, creative at heartconference.com slash whatever your URL is, or um, somebody clicks on a page from anywhere on your website or anywhere on the internet, it is that first bit of content that somebody sees when they are viewing the website. So it's that first thing that they can see without scrolling. This part of your website is prime real estate, no matter what page it's on. I know I've had a blog post in the past where I've talked about the hook with your homepage and how important that is on your homepage because you've really only got about five seconds to get someone or convince someone to stay when they land on your homepage. And so that content above the fold over on your homepage is so critical to keeping them around long enough to even digest all of the great things that you have within your website pages. But each and every every individual page that you have within your website and even pages like this that are technically um, not a part of your website as a whole. You can see that there's no main navigation at the top like a traditional website. A sales page typically doesn't include your website's main navigation. And that's because we want to eliminate lots of distraction on a sales page so that we can really hone in on converting on the goal, which is getting someone to purchase, right? But no matter if you're talking about an about page or a landing page or a blog or whatever page you can think of, a services page, a product page, the most important part of that page, including sales pages like we're talking about now, is what you put above the fold. It can make or break the sale. And this sales page is such a prime example of a fabulous hook, and I just kind of want to break it down for you right now in this episode. Really, what the hook is about is giving a really quick snapshot of what is to come. A sales page, especially this sales page, and a lot of sales pages are designed in long form copy. So if you were to scroll down, you'll see that this sales page is pretty long. There's a lot of scrolling going around and the only clicking that happens within this page is just going to a different section of the page, which is going to be the investment section. 
since this is a sales page. It doesn't lead you to other pages um, and it doesn't lead you to like say their social media or other websites or whatever. It's just one long page. That's what a long form sales page is. You'll see as you scroll down, there's a lot of copy. There's a lot of images to take in. There's a lot of words to read. Um, that's what long form means. And some people are afraid of long form. They think that it, you know, might be too much, that people aren't going to stick around that long. But when you're talking about something like a course or a membership program and you're really trying to sell somebody, especially when you're working with a tight timeline like an open and close cart, in this case, Creative 24-7 is only open for seven days, you have a lot of work to do. And as fast as you can to get somebody to resonate with what you're talking about and what you're saying. And what I mean by that is you don't have months worth of content building up to communicate with somebody what this is if it, you're working with an open and closed cart. Like Kat, she only has seven days, so she's got to get every bit of information she needs in there for somebody to understand what's going on in 24 seven and feel like this is the right fit for them, for them to say yes in that seven day period and go ahead and join. The hook helps set your web page up. And in this case, your sales page up for success. And it is really a quick snapshot of what's to come in all of that long form copy below. And it lives above the fold, so that way somebody can very easily and quickly resonate with the words that you're saying. If they feel like, man, this this feels right, or maybe I, you know, they have like a little inclination that maybe I am looking for something like this, or maybe I feel like I could use something like this, even if they don't know any details. You're not going to get enough details above the fold to make a yes decision. But the point is we're just trying to get a tiny little inkling of resonating with what copy is above the fold. If you can get somebody to that little, we're not getting them to yes above the fold. We're getting them to, I want to read the next word. I want to scroll down just to the next canvas. If you can get them to that point above the fold and a hook of a web page or a sales page or any page of your website, you have done your job above the fold. Let's read Kat's hook here. She says, it's time to make your dream profitable with the community of creatives cheering you on. That is truly what Creative 24-7 helps you do in one sentence. Such a powerful sentence. And that is something that I want to point out about the hook. You need to have a clear and concise statement about what it is that somebody is about to read on this page. What can they hook on to? What can you promise them? Kat's promise in 24 seven is that she is going to work with her community and the education that she provides within 24 seven to help you make your dream profitable. And that is the biggest aha that her ideal customer needs. It's that they are working so hard behind the scenes to build a business that they have been dreaming about. And Kat's big promise to you is that she's going to help you get profitable through the education and resources that she provides in Creative 24-7. And she follows it up, that big aha promise, with what Creative 24-7 is. It's a community of creatives that cheer you on and encourage you and equip you along the way. This one statement powerfully introduces somebody um, to what they might encounter if they were to say yes right now. She then follows it up with Creative 24-7 is an online membership community for creative entrepreneurs. Our mission, to encourage your dreams and equip your business with practical, tactical education. This just clearly says, okay, what is it? I just gave you a big promise. I gave you a big, exciting, aha, like if you are in this, if you are working behind the scenes, if you're building a business and you have a dream of it being actually profitable and serving you and your family and your just desperately wanting a community around you as you build this, I gave you that, that promise statement. 
right? So then she follows it up immediately with in the hook section, with just simply stating what Creative 24 seven is. So we hook them in with a promise statement and then we say, okay, here it is. Here's what I'm giving you. I'm giving you a membership community that's online for creative entrepreneurs. You can immediately decide if this is for you right here, right now in this statement where it says Creative 24-7 is an online membership community for creative entrepreneurs. Do you like online communities? Do you like the convenience of having it be digital and not have to travel or meet up in person? Or, um, you know, just the perks that come with an online community. If you like that, you're more inclined to read the next statement. If you don't like that, if you are way into in-person events and you really just don't vibe with online community, you immediately know right off the bat that Creative 24-7 might not be the best option for you. It doesn't mean you're going to click the X button, but again, the hook is about resonating with the right people. You've got to get clear about your messaging and you've got to do it fast above the fold. And that's what Kat has done here. She's really, um, she's really just simply stating what 24 seven is, but in a way it is subconsciously helping that person decide if they are qualified to continue to read this sales page, if they even want to read this sales page. And then she goes on to emphasize what you can expect in your online, in her online membership community, which is practical, tactical education, along with that community environment that equips um, and encourages you as you work to make your dream profitable. These are super simple statements my friend, but it works. It works to hook me in, get me intrigued enough to want to keep reading, to want to keep scrolling just a little bit. And you'll see she dug in even further for who this is for by being really clear above the fold. Hey, if you're a marketing strategist, a wedding planner, a photographer, if you're a stationer, or maybe you're a blogger, um, she even just simply states, hey, these are the types of business owners and creative entrepreneurs that fit really, really well in 24-7. So as you see these words right here scrolling through on this line where it's kind of like that script font and it says the different business type owners, if you are one of those people and if you've resonated with the aha promise that she immediately introduced you to, and you resonated with what Creative 24-7 even is, now, if I see, wow, this is actually for somebody who's just like me. I'm a photographer, and I really value community, and I really want practical, tactical education so I can make my business profitable, and I love the convenience of online membership communities because I have a family or maybe I just am super busy with my business and I don't have the time to get out all the time as much as I need to, to, you know, do the networking or get the community or get the encouragement that I need. When all these things line up above the fold, you've immediately hooked me in to where I have got to read whatever else is on the page and you've gotten my attention focused in right here. So that way when I'm scrolling through, I am excited to read the content that she has provided. I'm excited to meet Kat. I'm excited to find out if this is really right for me. And if I line up with these, you know, statements of whether or not I should join this membership. I'm excited to see the pictures and read the words. And even though it's a long form sales page, I am hooked in and ready to find out more. That is how powerful the hook is. And again, going back to one of the most powerful things that you can learn in conversion are those triggers of persuasion. Now, we don't use them unethically, but they are there. There are certain triggers of the human race, humanity as a whole, that are pretty universal. One of those triggers is commitment and consistency. That means that people are more likely 
to uh, outwardly display things that they inwardly believe or resonate with. So these little tiny hooks, these little tiny like connecting with somebody like you're doing here in the hook, what it's doing is giving them mentally, they're like subconsciously making tiny little yeses. They're saying, yes, I want to make my dream profitable. Yes, I'm searching for a community. Yes, I love the online concept. And absolutely, yes, I need some practical, tactical education. And yes, hand raise, I'm a blogger or whatever. These are these little tiny subconscious yeses that help me through commitment and consistency, it, it basically compels me to keep scrolling. It compels me to read the next word. And as I mentally keep making these little yeses, once I get all the way down the page to that investment section where, you know, it's time to put my money where my mouth is, commitment and consistency, that, you know, that trigger of persuasion basically proves that I am more likely to click the big yes, which is putting my money on the line, right? When I get all the way down to this investment section. Now, there's other factors that come into play and there's other triggers that work together. And if you can put those triggers together with commitment and consistency, then it really boosts the power of a sales page. And one of those triggers is urgency, scarcity and urgency. And you'll see here, even in the hook section, we, we tell them, we give them a big promise. We tell them what it is quickly and concisely before they ever have to scroll and read all of, you know, the buildup. We give them a call to action button. If they feel a strong yes from this hook, then they have the option to go ahead and go just join. Maybe they've already been warmed up to the, this concept if they, you know, say been on your email list or followed you on social media. We do want to give those people an opportunity to immediately get to where they need to go. So that's why you'll see a button there. But a lot of times people aren't, you know, clicking this button and buying right away. A lot of times people do want to keep scrolling. They do want to keep reading the words that you've written and see the images that you've put on the page and, and really get that full experience of the sales page before they say yes. Um, but one thing you can do, especially if you do have an open and closed cart situation like Kat does, is combine commitment and consistency with urgency and scarcity. Urgency basically means there's not a lot of time to get this. It is a proven trigger. It is a universal trigger that people act when they think that something is not going to be available forever. Look at Black Friday. It is why Black Friday is bananas. It is why, you know, when Target releases a line with Lily Pulitzer, that's a limited edition and you know that they're going to have target pricing, that it goes bananas and it might as well be another Black Friday, right? It's because there's scarcity here and there's urgency at the same exact time. Like you can't always join 24-7. The doors close on November 21st, right? That is saying, hey, there is a timeline on this. And if you are resonating with this, then you have to know that this is important. You have to know that there's only seven days involved in this process. So if that commitment and consistency wheel is turning and you're starting to say yes, when you pair that with urgency and you can visually show me right in the hook with a timer like this, this countdown timer, it is a powerful combination to get somebody to want to keep scrolling. Honestly, my true goal above the fold is not to get somebody to click this button and buy right away. I think you really have to be a warmed lead in order to click that button and buy right away and not read anything else on this sales page. My goal in the hook is to get to the next yes, the next little yes, which is go ahead, scroll down, take in the next statement, find out more learn about what this is, why it matters, why you should care, how it works, and how I am going to serve you and how I'm the best option to serve you through whatever it is that I'm offering you. 
That is what my goal is in a hook, is really to get them to the next little yes. And when all of those yeses add up and we add in other strategies like urgency and scarcity to it, and we can kind of combine um, these different really sales boosting strategies, then by the time that somebody gets to an investment section, they feel empowered and they feel confident and they are ready to click and say yes. So I hope that was helpful for you today. Go ahead, pop over to creativeatheartconference.com forward slash join dash creative dash 24 seven or two four seven. There's no slash in that. Um, then you can see how this sales page came together. You can see how the hook really sets you up to get all the way down to this investment section where somebody feels super confident and excited to join the membership today. And if you are interested in joining 24 seven, I would absolutely encourage you to hop in. I am one of the educators who has contributed a class. You can take my content marketing class through 24 seven and I would love to see you on the inside and have you join this community. It really is a fabulous community. There's so much support and people sharing and helping each other in their business journeys. But that's it today for the website conversion lab. I hope you enjoyed it.